and Chris Flanagan. Beasley is charged with luring men through a fake job ad and then robbing and shooting them. Inside the courtroom today were powerful opening statements. The first witness also took the stand just a few hours ago. News Channel 5's Bob Jones joins us live outside the Summit Court, County Courthouse with more. And Bob, who was the first witness today? Well, Chris, the first witness to testify was actually a close family friend of the first victim, Ralph Geiger, and she was very emotional as she testified here at the Summit County Courthouse. But the case started off with the prosecution first laying out its case to the jury to eight men and four women against Richard Beasley, a man the state calls a wolf in sheep's clothing. Special Prosecutor Emily Pelfrey talked about the victims, Ralph Geiger, David Pauley, and Timothy Kern, men who wanted a change in their life and thought a Craigslist ad promising work on a cattle farm could be a new beginning. Instead, those men were shot, killed, and buried. Prosecutors contend Beasley even went as far as to stealing the identity of Geiger, made himself look like Geiger, and even applied for a job as the dead man. The first witness called was Summer Raleigh, a woman who said Geiger was like a father to her. She talked about the last conversation with him before he went after that job in Southern Ohio. I said, are you gonna get a hold of me? And he said, of course. And that was the last time I talked to him. Um, Sorry. The last time you talked to him, was that on the phone? Was that in person? It was on the phone. And do you know, was it, how many days was it before he actually left to go down south? I can't say for sure. It had to be like the day before. And the defense said today that Richard Beasley is not a saint, but they also contend he is innocent of the charges that were filed in the indictment. The only survivor in this case, Scott Davis, is expected to testify at some point during this trial, a trial that will last up to six weeks. On your side, live in Akron, Bob Jones, News Channel 5.